In terms of frame styles, we offer standard, box, floating, and tray frames. The most contemporary framing styles are floating and tray frames. Tray frames do not have glass and the artwork sits flush with the front of the frame, which gives impact to the artwork and the gap between the print and the moulding produces a slender line around the artwork edge, resulting in a very slick, stylish look. The edge that the gap produces means you do not need to use borders on your print. Certain paper types are not advised for tray frames. They suit coated papers more as the artwork is not protected by glass. Take a look at our printing videos to understand which papers to use, but in short, our whole C-type range is coated as well as certain gicle papers such as Epson Semigloss. The papers to avoid with tray frames are the more delicate, uncoated surfaces in the gicle range. In a floating frame, the art is encased under glass. It is smaller than the moulding and in terms of depth is positioned part way between the glass and the backboard by the use of fillets that of course cannot be seen from outside. Therefore the artwork appears to be floating in the frame. As the artwork is protected by glass you can select this frame for any of our paper options. On a floating frame we do not advise using a border on your image as there is a border anyway as a result of the white backing that can be seen behind the floating artwork. Standard and box frame styles are more traditional looking frames. On a box frame, the artwork is set right back in the frame towards the backboard, creating a case effect. This compares to a standard frame, which largely uses the same depth mouldings as a box frame, but where the artwork is closer to the front of the glass. In both standard and box frames, we use a fillet to space the artwork from the glass, and the bigger the fillet, the further the artwork sits back in the frame. Standard frames have a 6mm fillet, whereas box frames have a 12, 18 or 25mm fillet, depending on the depth of the moulding, which in turn depends on the size of the artwork. For bigger artworks, we use deeper mouldings because they require more strength. Artworks above 40 by 40 inches require a subframe for strength and rigidity. Wherever additional features are required for larger frames, such as die bond mounting or subframes, this is all included in the retail price. In terms of aesthetics, as said, box frames create the appearance of a case for the artwork, making it more of an object in itself, whereas standard frames are classic and more traditional looking. While standard frames are the classic safe option are considered more traditional in aesthetics, the choice of material, for example, deep rich walnut, can make a standard frame look more contemporary, as can adding a window mount. In terms of moulding choice, Overall, when people are looking for higher end fine art framing, they tend to look for thinner mouldings of a very high quality material. In part, this is simply an aesthetic trend as it looks sleek in appearance and makes a statement through the quality of the material without creating too much visual impact on the artwork. In terms of this trend, tray frames do offer the opportunity to opt for a thinner frame moulding because the absence of glass means it is lighter. In terms of aesthetics, Moulding choice starts with choosing a material of a colour that complements the colours within the artwork, as well as the colour scheme of the space in which the artwork will be hung. In a gallery with pure white walls, for example, a black frame will strongly draw attention to the artwork due to the high contrast of the black frame with the white walls. White frames will blend into a light coloured interior, allowing more focus on the image colours themselves. This works really well when there are bright colours in the print. In terms of the choice of woods, we have oak, walnut, cherry, maple, sapel, and beech. Each wood has a signature tone and grain. For example, walnut is a very popular contemporary choice, and with its dark, rich tones, it brings a sophistication and modernity to an artwork. Oak is a classic option, and of course much lighter in colour and more traditional. We do offer some decorative frame options. We have gold, silver and ornate gold also. These styles can bring a very complementary look to a traditional style artwork or interior, or alternatively could bring a twist to a contemporary artwork through the juxtaposition of this very traditional moulding option. These extensive high quality options are all available online with a handy visualisation tool which previews your final frame choice for you. 
If you are looking for a more esoteric frame option, then please pop into the print space and ask one of our senior framers for advice. We'll be happy to help.